Hello everybody and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Odyssey where for lack of better things to do to level up we're gonna go hang out with our mom. <laughs> That's what I decided. Um, so where would that be? Where you at mom? I left my ship in the middle of the ocean. My bad. I don't even know what is it is. Arcadia. Okay, Arcadia. Oh, in the middle of somewhere I haven't been. Nice. A big area I haven't been. They're at the border of Smuggler's Forest. And Golden Field? Here? Yeah, okay. So somewhere like right here. They're at the Statue of Artemis in the Cedar. Okay, so... Where's the closest fast travel point is this the one i took or no it's, there's the image of the day image of the day is blue oh wow oh that must be the mother filter that's so cool i was like how did they get that also why is there a gargantuan wave coming up over <laughs> oh that's a bummer that's a bummer <laughs> is that a spoiler i feel like that's a spoiler Oh my gosh, I still haven't. Wait, where is that? Is this Sparta? Argoli? No. Why don't I have this one? Oh well. I guess I will go here. And just run on over. Just trot on over. And I'll get at least one more point thing. One more artifact. Mother told me to meet her at the statue of Artemis in the sea. Holy cow, why do I have three? Oh no! Oh gal, oh boy, uh, oh boy. Who are you? Uh, uh Oh my gosh. Uh, can I pay him off? <laughs> can I just. How much is it? Come on. Oh no, is it not gonna let me? No. I don't know how she didn't see me. Uh, but yeah, we're supposed to meet mom somewhere. Whoa! Sorry, horsey. Sorry. Jeez, uh, why do I have three? What did I do? I don't even know. I don't even know where I'm going now. I've lost the road. In order, in order to evade pursuers, I have gone off road. I most likely will tumble to my death at some point. Oh my gosh, that scared me actually. Anyway, I just want to ride through the woods and be left alone. Abandoned hunting camp. The beans. Not my mom's abandoned hunting, hunting camp, is it? All right, so yeah. I realized this was kind of a vague middle ground. Um, okay. Yeah. This was the vague middle ground that I sort of picked out of nowhere, but <laughs> let's see. Smuggler's Fort, yeah, this is, okay. I don't really, they are near the statue of Artemis in the cedar, I, what's this? Is this a statue? Wow, that's uh, really gross. This isn't a statue. That's an abandoned hunting camp. Um, I get nope. This is those are the wetlands, so it should be like right along here. Maybe in here. Maybe in here. Yeah, because this looks like it kind of wiggles its way up to something. Ella. And if I hadn't got ha ha ha, I knew it. Yeah. My intuition. There. Oh. It'll be good to see Mother and Brasidas again. Uh, wh who? Why is she with the bounty hunter? Mm -hmm. yeah. Ma, I feel like that's not quite safe. I mean, you're a fully capable woman, but I have a feeling that terrible things are gonna happen. 
Because, like, I didn't pick Brassy Dows as however you say his name, his route. So I feel like, therefore, I've screwed him over somehow. Why are you? And what are you with my mom? <gasps> my mom wasn't here. Who are you? Who are you? Me? I'm no one. But you. You're even godlier than Brasida said you'd be. It should be your statue between these oh, two. Oh, shush. Brasidas? What does he have to do with this? Warrior, he said. Look for the mighty warrior with the broken spear. I added the godly bit. Okay. Brasidas knows a warrior when he sees one. Word of my deeds will outlive any statue. Of course. Your story should be sung from the mountain. He's gonna try to kill me. In Arcadia, you are already a legend. Where is Brasidas? I need to speak with him. Of course you do. And the woman, you'd like to speak with her too, I yes? do not trust Wait. him. She looks like you. Tell me where they went. I should. It's what Brasidas <gasps> paid me for, after all. Then why don't you? He didn't pay enough. Oh, okay. Wait, what? 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 Huh? I don't... So you're what? So like what you're saying here is is I'm on fucking fire! Yeah, no 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 I'm gonna kick you off. Oh man, he's resilient. Don't get knocked off as easily. Oh, I should heal. Jeez, I am. Oh, come on! I did the thing. Yeah. yeah, I need it again. Yay. Oh my gosh, blocking is ridiculous. Blocking is ridiculous in this game. Paralysis arrows. Whilst. Let's go. Okay. Don't you do it? I interrupted him. me which does happen sometimes do I have any nope I don't have any arrows left time to make some this is a pain in the butt this is an actual pain in the butt so okay so the mercenary was paid to tell Brazil paid him to tell me where they went and then he's like, you didn't pay me enough, so he's gonna kill me? That's so cheap. Like, that's so, like, dumb of him. So short-sighted. I, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm blown away. I'm blown away by it. Let's see. Yeah. Hey, how about, yeah, 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 attack. No, 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 don't attack me. No. Oh. 
Okay, never mind. I know, I know, I don't know, we're good. Although why the other one has to be with him still is beyond me. Like, can't they fight each other? That's happened before. Maybe it's only if I accidentally get them to hurt each other, though. could maybe snipe the one guy, but I still have to take care of her. That's not the person I wanted to hit, but, you know. him off if I can. Oh crap. Did you say I am weak and ugly? It's not a cliff. I can't kick him off it. Having a hard time. Die, dog. What was that? Why you keep backing away from me? Yeah, don't none of that now. Oh my gosh, you cheaters! You freaking cheaters! I can't do this with so many of them. Well, let me at least pay off some of them. Oh my gosh. This is ridiculous. And he keeps healing himself. Time. Please, what do you mean, please stop? I could just murder him right now. I think I could anyway. Anyway, I waited. I like wait and hid, waited till nighttime, and the mercenary or the bounty hunters went away. My story will outlive any statue. Who says that? Tell me where they are, or I'll cut that shit eating grin off your shit eating face. He said you had a nasty temper. He wasn't wrong. Tell me where my mother is, or I'll shove my spear so far down your throat, you'll be shooting wow. iron at the gates of Hades. Wow. Please, show mercy. Why? Speak. They're on a hill, a cliff overlooking the gale. Brasidas didn't pay you enough? Who did? Tell me, or I'll wrap your guts around your neck and hang you from that We're tree. We're very creative. The Archon. He's Archon? More for your head than Brasidas could afford in two lifetimes. Tell me who the Archon is. I want a name. 
<laughs> La Rose. His name is La Rose. And he's the most powerful man in Arcadia. I want to kick you down he a hill. controls the grain, controls the world. You threatened the wrong people, Malaka. I don't threaten. I promise! Then I'm gonna kill you. Like, I... Although why he got all his health back is beyond me. Especially now that I'm gonna probably have to contend with a... With a person, but... I can just get him dead, and everything will be fine. to kill us like I have to kill him like if I don't kill him he's gonna come back jeez nah, I'm definitely gonna find him and I'm gonna kill him So unfair, he got so much health back though. I should have been able to kill him instantly. Ha! Killed him. Please, 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 please. can just eat me alive. Oh, no, I gotta, I'm gonna kill him. Otherwise, I, don't, I mean, probably people will come after us anyway, but I'm not really sure why I have three bounty hunters after me, because I didn't see that after I did the, like, ship thing. And even then, it's like, if I'm killing cultists, then I shouldn't be getting bounty hunters after me. I mean, I guess people can get bounty hunters on you for any reason, but... Still... It's a little frustrating. Got him. I am with your mother. Meet us on the cliff near Tegia. Alright, so he wasn't lying about that. Good. Let's go. My gosh. Oh crap. Run. They're everywhere. Quest items, ring, and the letter from Brasidas. Okay, cool. All right, so I was worried for a second that Brasidas had betrayed us and hired this guy to kill me, but apparently not. That's good. Jeez, though, I needed that guy to die. Like he put he put us all at risk by being alive. So, but I needed to talk to him, like. To figure out where they'd gone. I guess I didn't have to, actually. I could have just murdered him and then taken the evidence off of his body. So what I did was kind of redundant, but that's okay. I don't mind. I got a little achievement-y thing, I guess, for killing so many mercenaries. Well, I found Tegia, but apparently they are way over there. I'm just gonna synchronize this location. And the Athena of Polias or something. Looks pretty agricultural with like a temporary market of some sort. A 
apparently this is an agricultural area though because the guy was like you who controls the grain control everything and it's like okay all right all right i was kind of surprised that guy wasn't a cultist with how adamantly he wanted to kill me but i guess he was getting paid a ton of money come on we're someone yes i know i have a unicorn it's quite amazing no point in leaving loose ends either. That guy, that guy needed to die. I mean, maybe he didn't. Maybe it'll screw me over in the end, but... It, it wasn't like he was like, Please have mercy, I'll help you. It was like, I, I promise I'm gonna kill you. Or something. Whoa! Holy cow. Holy fr you freaking kill me. I'm gonna be so angry. Nope. 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 Go away. <laughs> I wonder if I could like climb on something like that pole over there and make them go away. They knocked my horse right over. My unicorn. How dare they knock my unicorn over? Man, it's spoopy. It's super spoopy here. Why are we in a spoopy place? It's only spoopy because it's the nighttime. Probably. Please, can we please climb this? Thank yeah, tell mom and Brasidas that we're here. Birdie. To kill or not to kill? Well, I chose to kill. Why Why is it the name of the... I chose to kill this guy anyway. I made my decision. I want the Archon dead. Yeah, same. Thank the gods you found us. I got your message. No thanks to- Your messenger is lucky to be alive. What? He betrayed you, Brasidas. I he killed him! He this Marini told me about. They knew you were coming and must have forced La Rose to place the bounty on your heads. Trusting anyone in Arcadia will be difficult now. Which is why I say we put that Archon's head on a pike. Our message to the Puppet King in Sparta will be clear. I killed him! Man, should I have killed him, like, right then and there? Like, man, it said talk to him. It didn't say talk to him or kill him. So I was like, okay, I'll talk to him and then kill him. <sighs> and now I'm gonna be like, reason is the answer or violence is the answer. You know, if we're dealing with Sparta... Part of me says just go violence, you know, like if we're trying to deal with a puppet king in Sparta, but at the same time, violence feels like a bad thing, so... But I don't know, it's what my mom thinks we should do. Uh, I don't know, I don't know. What would Cassandra do? Man, I messed that up. I wasted all that time killing him and... I hope the game doesn't think he's still alive. Like, like later on down the line, it'll bite me in the butt. And I'm like, no, I killed him, like, right after. It was kind of confusing, the way it was, like, stated. I mean, this seems like the obvious right answer, right? Reason is the answer. But then I'm like, now I'm, I'm like, second-guessing. And, like, I don't know. Sometimes reason isn't the answer. Sometimes it is violence. I don't know. I'm gonna go violence. I'm sure he has soldiers everywhere in Arcadia. We'll just behead them all. And deal with it like you dealt with the manga? Why not hire some musicians to entertain the crowd too? I know you wanted me to kill him in private, but at the time, it was the right choice. Whatever happens, we need Lagos alive. Ah. Arcadia is Sparta's breadbasket. And Lagos keeps it full. That man is working for the cult of Cosmos, not Sparta. Then we need to free him from their grasp. What makes you think he wants to leave? Their Aunt voices are off. Aunt Lagos's style. He's a farmer, not a killer. They're like voices aren't synced up. What do you have in mind, Brasidas? Unlike your mother, I think we can handle this quietly. I'm going to begin by investigating a safe house he keeps. There might be some evidence there. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll do it his way this time, though. You know, I feel like 
the way he stated it, like, if Lagos is actually under control of the cult, not willingly, maybe we can help him. What do you think we should do? I still say we send the Archon to Hades. Upsetting Sparta's breadbasket will send the false king searching for crowns. The Archon is no longer the man you knew. The cult has him now. Hmm. Looks like I came just in time. You certainly did. But it's time to make a decision. All right, we'll do it your way, Brastidas. At least if nothing else, we can try it this way, and then we can put it down on a pike. It's what I feel like. It's how you can play it in real life. But I feel like in this game, there's gonna be like, you pick one way or the other, and it'll bite you in the butt. Like you can't, you can't like, like you can't. I feel like you can't undo killing somebody, but you can do what you can until the point where you have to kill them. You know. But we'll do it Brastidas' way this time. Your strategy makes sense, Brasidas. Thank you. I'm glad you. Oh, mom's so disappointed. You're letting sentimentality cloud your judgment. Thousands of Spartans yeah, that's depend my on other thing. for food and protection. His death would it's, bring chaos. It's not just the kings. Like it's, it's the people that would be affected outside of this. There's a farmhouse northeast of Tegea where he has a safe house. Meet me there before you do anything you'll regret. Come on, ma'am. And what if Brasidas's plan doesn't work? Yeah. The Archon hides like a coward in Fort Samikon. You can't miss that monstrosity. You could go after him now, but be careful. He's well defended. Then we must weaken his defenses. He's got barracks full of guards and silos full of grain. It would be a shame if any came to harm. That's, that's the thing, is like, I don't know, I feel like she's being a bit, I mean, maybe she's actually seeing the big picture, in that like the cult of cosmos is a problem that affects like millions of people, theoretically, not just like the few thousand in Sparta or whatever, you know, like hundred thousand people total, a few thousand in Sparta type thing. Um, but there's more at stake here, I don't know, there's, so there's more at stake, like, she's seeing the big picture of, like, the entirety of the Greek world, but there's also the thousands of people that would go hungry in Sparta, and I don't know if she's seeing that, or if she's willing, like, intentionally saying, you know, these lives could potentially be sacrificed in order to save the entirety of the Greek world, which is brave in and of itself, like, it's a hard, hard decision to make, as long as she's making it with some sort of, like, you know, neutrality, and not just, like, revenge, you know? Where exactly are Lagos' guards stationed? Some rest their heads at the barracks in Tegea. There's also a camp and a fort in Smuggler's Forest. Destroy <laughs> his guards there, and his defenses will be weakened. Tell me where to find the silos. The Archon stores his wheat in Pan's cradle. Set the silos alight, and his livelihood will go up in smoke. That seems easy, you know? I'll go see what Lagos is up to. Good luck, my lamb. You don't understand. This isn't just about fire and weed. This is personal. Okay. Uh, what do you have? Spartan war here about. A war made nations wealthy overnight, including Arcadia. Its grain fields kept Spartan armies fed, making it a ripe target for the cult. But Lagos, Arcadia's benevolent figurehead, was no ordinary cultist. He longed for a world of peace in which he could raise his family until he became a puppet leader. Okay, so he doesn't want to be doing this. Interesting. I, that's the impression I'm getting. Yeah, take that, stupid head. Uh, yep, 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 yeah, just shut up. Oh, I think, was he... Oh, he took more damage from poison. Okay. We'll never flinch when... That's why he didn't get shoved off the cliff. Except, he did flinch whenever I had the special overpower arrows. He would flinch on those. Because it would... It would well, it would, it would knock him back. I don't know if flinch is separate from knockback. Yep. Can't use any of these. It's cool. Uh, boring. Boring. Blah, 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 blah. I need a better spear. Well, I hope this one, this episode has been long enough. I apparently wasted my time. Uh, oh, so was he like married? 
and I like killed him because I got this from him, and this is from Zinnia. Hmm. Or are these just like I mean, these are all quest items, but I think some of them I don't need anymore. Anyway. Yeah, apparently I should have either killed him before speaking to him and looted his body or let him live after talking to him, I guess. I don't know. It was weird. It was a little weird. Like, it didn't say, it didn't give me the option, at least as far as I could tell, when I had him on his knees. It didn't say talk to him or kill him. It was like, talk to him. And I was like, oh, is this required? Like, is this the way to progress the quest type thing? So, anyway. It was a little weird, but it's okay. In the end, we killed him, so hopefully he doesn't present a threat and the game doesn't, like, bring him back to life somehow. And maybe someday they'll let me pay off my bounties, because that'd be super nice. And yeah, I want to do Brassy Dasso's way, because I, I do feel like, if nothing else, we can put the guy's head on a pike, but I don't want to put the people at Sparta. Like, we're supposed to be, like, trying to get our Spartan citizenship back by helping Sparta. And if we do that by undermining Sparta, I feel like it's going to undermine our position. I feel like my mom maybe, I mean, like, I trust her in many things, and she's very wise, and she knows a lot more than I do about the coal and all this stuff and our heritage, but, like, I do feel like in some ways she might be a little blinded by revenge, sort of, or, like, hatred, or just, like, very, very stubborn, steadfast, sort of almost narrow-minded you know, um, duty, maybe, but Brasidas has a little bit more of a, you know, for a Spartan man, pretty calm, uh, logical demeanor, so we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, thank you all again for joining me, I do appreciate it, and I hope to see you in the next one.